Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. Today we're going to be covering who Seven of Nine was. Seven of Nine was a human female who was a former Borg drone. She was born Annika Hansen on star date 25479 or 2349. The daughter of an eccentric exobiologist Magnus and Aaron Hansen. She was assimilated by the Borg in 2356 at the tender age of six, along with her parents, but was liberated by the crew of the USS Voyager in 2379. She joined the crew and returned to the Alpha Quadrant with the starship in 2378. Okay, so let's cover Annika's early life, or Seven of Nine's early life. Annika was born in the Federation Tendra Colony on star date 25479. During her childhood, she never visited Earth. Her favorite color growing up was red, just in case you wanted to know that. As a young child, Annika often stayed with her aunt, Irene Hansen. Her favorite treats were strawberry tarts, which Irene once used to coke Annika out of the guest room in which she had locked herself away. She was very strong-willed and did not hesitate to point out if the strawberries used in baking the tarts were not perfectly ripe yet. At one point in her childhood, she wanted to become a ballerina. Okay, so let's talk about how Annika and her parents became assimilated by the Borg. Annika's parents, Magnus and Aaron Hansen, were exobiologists investigating the existence of the Borg. After a great deal of persuasion, the Federation granted the Hansons the use of the USS Raven, a small, long-range craft, to aid them in their investigation. In 2353, they took Annika, then aged four, along with them. They spent a good deal of time aboard the Raven in search of the Borg. Annika celebrated three birthdays aboard the ship. Eventually, the Hansons encountered a Borg cube and followed it through its transwarp conduit into the Delta Quadrant, the Borg's region of origin. They gathered a great deal of scientific data on the biology of Borg drones and the nature of the collective by moving undetected through Borg space due to multi-adaptive shielding invented by Magnus Hansen. They even went aboard vessels using biodampeners to remain undetected. However, their research came to an abrupt end in 2356 when an ion storm struck the Raven. The ship sustained damage including, most importantly, damage to the multi-adaptive shielding, which went offline for 13.2 seconds. This left them exposed long enough to the Borg to detect them and perceive them as a target for assimilation. The Hansons tried to evade pursuit by masking the Raven's warp trail, but the Borg still managed to pursue and find them. They and their daughter were promptly captured and assimilated. Naturally, the experience was traumatizing for Annika. So what's it like being a Borg drone? Annika was placed in a maturation chamber where the hive mind began to restructure her synaptic pathways and purge her individuality. She emerged as a Borg drone five years later in 2361. The turmoil of having been forcibly assimilated replaced with order and spent the next 13 years in the collective with the designation Seven of Nine. As a drone she assisted in the assimilation of millions from individuals to entire species. She personally assimilated many individuals from a variety of species including humans, Klingons, Ferengi, Bajorians, Bolians, Krenim, and the Cardassians. In early 2368, Seven of Nine, along with three other drones in our Unimatrix, crash-landed on a planet in the Delta Quadrant. The other drones, who were assimilated adults, began to regain their identities upon being severed from the Borg Collective, but Seven was frightened as she knew nothing else but life as a drone. She forcibly linked the other drones together into a temporary collective in order to suppress their identities, and they were retrieved soon after. Seven of Nine remained a Borg drone until 2374, when she was liberated. And that, my friends, is Seven of Nine in a nutshell. If you like what you heard, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, Star Trek is life.